The government is a figment of your imagination. It's an artificial, intelligent overlay. It is only a concept. It's a play. It's a performance. It's an act. They love when I have to fucking go off. Don't you get in? I can look at something from a few different sides. Don't you get in? And I can see where it all connects, despite what they're telling me. Don't you get in? Right? They just look at what they're told. I look at what makes sense. Don't you get in? You know, they'll say I'm doing word salad. They'll say that I'm just uh, going off on my own tangent. But that is because my mind works in a different way than the majority of the slaves. You guys are all in your feelers and never see the logic behind life. How it all moves together and fits together and how it works. So when you learn to check your feelers and move them out of the way and just observe with clarity and presence and awareness, you will make the right determinations and the right decisions. It's all the same shit over and over again. And no matter how much I speak on self-empowerment, self-mastery, self-reflection, don't, don't you, get in, get in. you all have a belief and a feeling that's going to trump that. Don't you, get in, get in. Ancient wisdom that works for everybody who embodies the path. Don't you, get in, get in. You're not your own God. I know you want to be, but you're not. As soon as you get in line with what that thing wants from you or what is, you'll stop having these fucking problems. I view all the rest of this shit as a distraction. Don't you, get in, get in. Governance is an act and a play, and it requires your belief and participation. Don't you? Get in, get the culture, get in. the society, the legal system, the legal society, policy, statute, and code is the original artificial intelligence and state of consciousness that has been overlaid on the NI. And that's why you have domesticated slaves and you have uncivilized men like myself. You don't want to accept that there's an objective morality that exists in this realm that every man and woman can comprehend using objective logic. It's not about wanting the fame and the riches. It's about being good at what you do, being recognized for it, and then when you get to the dance, telling all the people to suck your dick in public and leave because you never wanted to bond with them anyway. That's the whole point of being true to yourself is so that wherever you get to that you're meant to go, you don't have to change that. Quite the opposite. That's what got you there. I got a direct link to that spirit and to the people who chick it in. You can't get in between them. That's beyond worldly power. That's where you go beyond the ceiling that they don't want you to go beyond. That's the stage of inspiration and empowerment. They can't control you no more. They can't influence you no more. They can't put fear on you and things around you to stop you from being who and what you're meant to be. That's the game for me. That's the game for all of us, I thought. Actualize and realize. Don't you get in. Written on our heart first and foremost through common sense that if not overlaid with some dogma and indoctrination, we could all communicate harmoniously. Don't you get in. Don't right? You get so in. I'm never going to accept, unless my perspective completely changes, that there isn't an objective morality here that can be hit as a standard and understood by any being with the capacity of objective logic, understanding right from wrong. Okay, so you just want to say statute, policy, and code is law, and the law is the law, even though they're making it up and revising it constantly. And it's not always in line with objective right from wrong. So you're, you're completely misunderstood. You guys talk from feelers. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Your etymology is never sound because you don't care to look into the words and terms. Don't you get it, it. This should not be that difficult. Don't you get it, it. But for beings who've lost the ability to imagine, Don't you get it. Uh, I'm sure that it's quite the Herculean task. You should be able to zoom out and see all the connections and how it relates. You can't do that. You have no business speaking to someone else who can. There is no selfless component to you folks' consciousness. And it's evident because you constantly project onto others how selfish you think they are because you don't think that that state of consciousness is attainable. It's embarrassing.